Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the prime factorization of a number. So the prime factorization of 12 is 2, 2, 3, because 2, 2, 3 are all prime numbers, and 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, so our function is going to be type void. Let's call it factor, and the parameter is going to be an integer. Okay, so it says that a prime number can only be divided by 1 or itself, and it cannot be factored any further, and every a uh, whole number can be broken down into prime number factors. Okay, so first we're going to check if x is equal to 1. We're just going to return. This is the base case. And this is because, as it says here, a prime number can only be divided by 1 or itself. Okay, and then here we're going to write um, the first prime number, which is a 2. And we're going to use a while loop and say while x mod num does not equal 0, we're going to add 1 to the num, right? And then we're going to see out num to space, right? So this while loop does this num plus plus. If it's not in the while loop, it's going to see out num in the space. And then the recursive call is going to be x mod num. Okay, so let me explain how this works. Okay, so let's take the number 12. Okay, so right now our num is 2. So it's going to say while 12 mod 2 does not equal 0, 12 mod 2 does equal 0. So it's going to not do num plus plus. Instead, it's going to see out num, which is a 2. And it's going to do, uh, it's going to call the function again, but this time it's going to divide x by the num. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. Right? And now it's going to do is 6 mod 2 not equal to 0. 6 mod 2 is equal to 0. So again, it's going to see out the num. And then it's going to do call the function again and say factor x divided by num, which is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now here it's going to say, is x is 3 mod 2 not equal to 0? 3 mod 2 is not equal to 0, so it's going to do num plus plus. So now our num is 3. Right? So then it's going to check again, is 3 mod 3 not equal to 0? 3 mod 3 is equal to 0. So it's going to see out the num, which now is 3. It's going to do 3 divided by 3, which is 1, and that's the base case, because if x equals to 1, we just return. Okay, so that's how this function is going to work, and let's just test it out. Let's use 12. And it's going to say 2, 2, 3, which is correct. Uh, let's try a number like 17, which should just give you 17. And that's correct. And let's just try another number like 50. Um, and it says 2, 5, 5, which 2 times 5 is 10, times 5 is 50. And 2, 5, and 5 are all prime numbers. Hope this video 